Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A bar AB of weight 1000 Newton is hinged to a vertical wall at A and supported at the end B by a cable BD. Find the tension in the cable and the magnitude direction of reaction at the hinge. So let me initially explain you this entire arrangement. There is this bar AB, okay, which is hinged at A and this is the wall, all right. Now there is this cable BD the one end of the cable is attached at point B of the bar while the other end is then attached at the wall to give it some support. All right. And at the same time, this cable is making an angle of 30 degrees with this bar AB. All right. This bar is also having a self weight of 1000 Newton, which is acting centrally somewhere along this length and in obviously in the downward direction. Now to start off, we will try to work out all the forces that are acting in this arrangement. Well, We'll kick off with this point A. Now point A is where the hinge support is. The behavior of this hinge support is such that it restricts the motion of this, what do you call this bar, both in the horizontal as well as in the vertical direction. And hence, we're gonna have two different sorts of forces. Okay, two different sorts of reactions rather. One in the horizontal way, okay, while the other in the vertical way. So this horizontal reaction that you see, we can write this as HA. Okay, let us write this as H. A and when you speak of this vertical reaction, we can write this as VA. All right. Now moving ahead, we have this cable, cable BD. Okay, like this, this is cable BD. And this bar is actually having a self weight of 1000 Newton acting in downward direction. Or you can also say that this cable is going to develop some tension. Now let us say that we will refer to that tension as T. So let me write T over here. Now this T again is going to have two different components, one vertical, other horizontal. Let us see that. Now, if you watch carefully, it's going to have one horizontal component directed towards the left hand side and one vertical component directed in the upward direction. Now, if you try to watch carefully, this line and this line are absolutely parallel to each other. Okay. And AB acts as a transversal. This much angle has been given to us as 60 degrees and hence, please see where the mouse is hovering. This much angle should also work out as 60 degrees by the property of alternate interior angles out of which this much amount already has been given to us as 30 degrees. So the remaining amount, we can write this as 30 degrees. So let me just finish this, this much portion. We can write this as 30 degrees. So this is tension T acting along the length of the cable. Okay, I'm making a certain angle 30 degrees with this line over here. So the cos component will fall over here. So this is going to be T cosine 30. The remaining one is obviously going to be the sine component. This is going to be T sine 30. Now that we have figured out all the forces that are acting in this arrangement, we'll go ahead and try to compute the values of H, A, V, A and T. Okay. For Computing all these values, we'll be using the three equations of equilibrium. Summation of f of x is equal to zero, f of y is equal to zero, and summation of moment of all the forces acting in this arrangement about a certain point equal to zero. So let us start with summation of f of x is equal to zero. So let me write down summation of f of x is equal to zero. Okay. Now guys, remember this, any force acting towards the right hand side shall be taken as positive and any force acting towards the left hand side shall be taken as negative. So when you speak of a force in the form of say HA, it is acting in the right hand side direction and hence has to be taken as positive. Whereas this force T sine 30 shall be taken as negative since it is acting in the left hand side direction. So let me write this HA minus T sine 30 is equal to zero. Okay. So you can also write this as HA equals to T sine 30. Let us say this is going to be our equation number one. Okay. The most important factor in equation number one is T. Once you get the value of T, you can get the value of HA. All right. Now moving ahead, we're going to apply the second equation of equilibrium, extremely important summation of all the forces in the Y direction equal to zero. Now let us see all the forces in the Y direction. So we have this T cos 30. Okay, acting in the upper direction and has to be taken as positive. So let me write T cos 30. What else? We have this VA, all right, also acting in the upper direction. Again, positive VA. What else? So we have this 1000 Newton force, which is acting in the downward direction. Downward, okay, it corresponds to negative sign. 
minus 1000 equals to 0. Again, guys, in order to get the value of VA, we'll keep it towards the left hand side of the equal sign. And the remaining stuff 1000 minus T cos 30. So this is going to be our equation number two. Again, the idea is to get the value of T. And once you get the value of T, you're going to get the value of VA. Let me let me tell you one more thing. We have three unknowns. We have HA, we have VA, and we have this tension along the cable BD. Okay, so we have three unknowns. And for solving or getting the values of three unknowns, we need three equations. So we have already written down two equations, one and two. Um, we'll now go ahead and write down the third equation, the third equation of equilibrium, very popular summation of moment of all the forces about a certain point. I'll tell you what that point is. Okay, right now we're going to be selecting this point, point A. Okay, so the moment of all the forces about point A equals to zero. All right, in order to work this out, let me let me do this small construction. Okay, so we have this force T cos 30. Okay, please watch this carefully. So keep your thumb over here and your baby finger at P and try to move along, move your baby finger somewhere along this direction. You shall realize that this force is going to produce an anti-clockwise moment. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, um, let me write this, um, T cos 30 multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So what's the perpendicular distance? Let me show you what that perpendicular distance is. It's this guy. Okay, so this is the force, okay, and this is the perpendicular that we have dropped from point A because point A is that point about which the moment is supposed to be taken. This is the perpendicular. If this is 60 from here to here, then this distance is going to be AB sine 60 and this over here will be AB cos 60. And if you take a careful look, this particular point, let us say this is P, okay, and when you speak about this particular force T cos 30, Okay, this is the force and its perpendicular distance is going to be AP. So T cos 30 multiplied by AB. Okay, multiply this AP and we know very well the value of AP is going to be working out as AB sine 60 by simple trigonometry. Moving ahead. So this force produced an anti-clockwise moment and hence it was taken as positive. Now let's go ahead and let's work out the kind of uh, moment this force produces T sine 30. Okay. Now, if you keep your thumb over here, right thumb over here and your baby finger somewhere along this force and try to move in the right hand side direction, you should realize that it produces a clockwise moment and a clockwise moment also always has to be taken in the negative sense. So you have this force negative of T sine 30. So let me drop a perpendicular somewhere along the line of action of this force and touch the perpendicular. And let me say that this point is referred to us as Q. So if this is the force, okay, please see where the mouse is hovering. This is the line of action of the force and this is going to be the perpendicular distance. This is A, this is Q. So I shall write over here multiplied by A Q. Okay. Now the next force that we're going to work with is this guy, this 1000 Newton force. All right. So if you keep your thumb here and your baby finger over here and try to move your baby finger somewhere along this direction in the downward direction, you should realize that this force 1000 newton force produces a clockwise moment and clockwise moment always has to be taken in the negative sense so minus of 1000 multiplied by a perpendicular distance so what we need to do is please watch this carefully i'm going to be extending the line of action okay somewhere along this direction this way so this is the line of action of this 1000 newton force and hence this is the perpendicular dropped from this point over here to this point this is the perpendicular distance for this 1000 newton force all right, now try to work this out, guys. If I, again, I do this little construction over here, okay? If this is 60, this distance from A to C is actually AB over two, AB over two. If this is AB by two, okay, this has got to be AB by two cos 60, this distance, please see where the mouse is hovering. And this distance, horizontal distance has got to be AB by two sine 60. All right. So let me refer to this particular point as um, that is, this is AP. This was Q. Let us say that this point is R. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is this is 1000 Newton force acting in the downward direction. So this is the line of action and this is the perpendicular distance. All right. So 1000 multiplied by A R. Whereas the value of A R is 
going to be equal to a b by 2 sine 60. Now two forces are still left in the form of ha and va. The point about which we are taking the moment is point a and you can clearly see that both ha and va are passing through this point a and hence their moments are going to be zero. All right. And this is uh, the equation that we have for moment and we're going to be equating this equal to zero. HA and VA are not to be considered as they are passing through that point about which the moment has to be taken. So we have got to solve this and what I'm going to be doing is let me do this um, T cos 30 value of AP is going to be AB sin 60. You can see this clearly. AP is equal to AB sin 60. So let me write this as AB sin 60 minus again T sin 30 the value of aq what is the value of aq where is aq where is aq let me check this so this is aq guys and now you can clearly see that aq side is a part of this triangle abq all right please see where the mouse is hovering this angle over here is 60 degrees and this entire length is ab if this is ab then this aq has got to be ab cos 60 and this qb has got to be ab sin 60 so i'll just write it down aq is equal to ab cos 60 that's it so in place of aq i'll be writing ab cos 60 minus let me shift this 1000 over here 1000 multiplied by ar what's ar ar is equal to ab over 2 sine 60 ab over 2 sine 60 that's it now We'll go ahead and take T as common in the left hand side direction and let me do this quickly T, T as common and let me write the remaining part in the form of a trigonometric sort of a, an identity um, sine 60 cos 30 minus cos 60 sine 30. Yeah, what's left is AB is also left is equal to now 1000 over 2 will become 500 multiplied by AB multiplied by sine 60. That's it. Now you can clearly see AB is common to both the sides. Okay, LHS as well as RHS. The only thing is left is you should remember this formula. This is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. And sine A cos B minus cos A sine B is pretty much sine of A minus B. So sine of 60 minus 30. And this shall be equal to 5 hundred sine 60 okay and t shall e be equal to 500 sine 60 divided by this is 60 minus 30 that is 30 obviously sine 30 if you try to work this out the tension should actually work out as 8 6 6 newtons approx now we'll again revert back to equation one okay and equation two now you just need to put the value of tension 866 newton over here okay here and 866 newton over here you're going to get immediately the values of ha and ra so ha is obviously going to work out as t sine to 866 sine 30 and this should be equal to if you do this calculation it should work out as 433 newtons and when you speak of va VA is actually equal to 1000 minus T cos 30. And when you do this computation on a calculator, this is cos 30. Okay, okay, all right. So once you do this calculation, it should probably work out as 250 Newtons. Okay, if you want to find the overall reaction, or if you want to find the overall reaction um, at point A, okay, the overall reaction at point A, or the overall resultant at point A, you need to use this formula. The overall resultant is equal to under root of H A square plus V A square. You just need to put in these values H A and V A. You're going to get the value of the overall reaction in the form of 500 Newtons. Okay. And if you want to find the angle also, that angle can be calculated with the help of this formula tan theta is equal to the vertical reaction at A over the horizontal reaction at A 
and uh, if you put the values uh, this vertical reaction has worked out as 250 horizontal reaction worked out as 433 and they should probably be equal to 0 0.57 all right 579 i think and if you do the tan inverse theta theta should probably be working out as 30 degrees that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit i'll see you again with a new problem until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning